I am obviously in my car, but I'm stuck in my driveway. Um, there is, <laughs> there's a workman uh, blocking my driveway. It's okay, he's moving his truck now. Our neighbors, um, they're, I think they're like gut renovating their home because I believe they purchased their home before we did and they haven't moved in yet. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think for them it's been about a year since they purchased it, but we've seen some like activity kind of in and out since we've moved in, but just this past week or so, there's been a, like a flurry of activity. So that's exciting. Um, I'm on my way to my mom's and um, can we just, can we just talk about my hair? It's like looking so crazy today. I, well, I showed you what it looked like after I went for my run. That was hysterical. And it always tickles me to know that I was out in public looking like that. So that's awesome. <laughs> oh, little Frenchies crossing in front of me. Cute. Anyway, so my hair looked crazy, right? And I, I showered, I, you know, blew out my hair, but it just looks like, <laughs> like what is going on? It really just looks crazy. Like I put like, like styling cream in it or something and then just ran my fingers through it, but that's not the case. I didn't do that. Every once in a while, my hair does this. I don't know if I didn't like rinse it well enough or, I mean, I used a different shampoo and conditioner today from the last several weeks, but I've used the shampoo and conditioner before, so I'm just really confused. What is going on? Are you guys too close here? I mean, I look like I have, um, like almost like I tried to slick my hair back. I, I didn't, I didn't. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I can't seem to get my camera right on the dash. There we go. Um, well, I had a good morning. I did all my dishes. You know, I was thinking, <laughs> I was like, God, I do an awful lot of vlogging of me doing dishes, but you know what? That's the reality. I do a lot of dishes. Since we're home all the time um, and eating all of our meals at home, we just have a pile of dishes after breakfast, after lunch, after dinner. I just feel like I'm constantly doing dishes. My husband too, he's like, I just did the dishes. I'm like, I just did the dishes. And I will say I am eternally grateful to have a dishwasher. I've lived most of my life without one and I remember moving into an apartment in New York where we had a dishwasher and it was such a game changer. And then when we moved here to Vegas, we had one, but it didn't really work. So we just did all of our dishes by hand. And I was like, oh man, <laughs> remembering how much I hate doing dishes. Um, and now we have a dishwasher again, so I'm eternally grateful for that. Uh, but anyway, I'm on my way to my mom's. Uh, in my last vlog, I mentioned that um, I purchased a comforter for her. So I have not gotten a chance to drop it off until today, until now. So I'm going to do that. I think, um, I think she wants to have lunch too. What time is it? Yeah, I think she wants to have lunch too, which should work. Um, it's always just tough with my <laughs> my carnivore diet. It's always tough to try and find a place that works, but um, whatever, we'll figure it out. Today we're having um, a few things done to the house. Not really, that's like a way overstatement. Basically, um, you know, we've been having like home automation uh, put in and uh, there was some delay on some of the equipment. So that kind of dragged out a little bit towards like the end of last year. I don't know if you guys remember that. Anyway, all of the equipment is sitting in our gym and it's just piled up and piled up. And they've just been like asking, like, can we put a rack in here? Can we put a rack in here? And I was like, eh no that's okay it was like an expense I just didn't feel like we needed because it's in the gym so if it's a little unsightly it's not that big of a deal but when they finished their job which was hooking up the family room um, which had the most equipment I went into the gym and I saw like so many more components basically and I was like oh, okay we really need <laughs> we really need a rack in here so they're actually installing um, a rack for us uh, just so it can house all the equipment and you know I think it's it's just better for the equipment that way 
Um, and in the family room, um, they had installed like a big subwoofer and then there's this big like smart remote that they gave us. The subwoofer is just a no-go. Um, Butters does not like it every time we turn it on and like that low hum or that kind of boom happens, she just barks her little head off. I can't blame her. It's really like, I don't know. I don't really, I'm not that into, I'm not like an audiophile. I'm really not into that like deep, deep bass because I feel like it's sound that I feel more than I can hear. And I'm like, I, I don't, I don't need to, I don't need to feel <laughs> the bass. So we're actually getting the subwoofer removed and we're just gonna get like a normal kind of remote in there because this fancy remote that we got is, it's like too fancy, it takes too long to warm up. Like I just wanna turn on the TV and watch TV. So I was like, is there like a, a simpler one, like a more streamlined one? And so they're gonna install that one. Um, I'm like, I'm just not that, when it comes to like, I don't know, home like tech gadgets that's just not my thing I don't I just don't really care you know so anyway that's what's going on in our house today and I'm excited to see all the components in a rack that'll look really nice and if you guys um, if you guys have been with me for a while you know I used to work in tech and um, I remember having to rack equipment <laughs> so I was watching the guys do it for a little while and I was like yep yeah. Yeah, it's still like the same, same idea, you know, got to make sure all the wires are long enough and the order of stuff. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so it was a good time for me to go to my mom's. Um, the guys who do our home automation, they've been to our house so much. They're, they just come in and out like, like they're friends. <laughs> so um, I could leave them there. So that was, that's nice. Um, and my husband's there. He's just always busy on calls, so he can't keep an eye on them but or answer any questions. Um, but yeah, they're very, very self-sufficient. They're very familiar with our home at this point, so it's kind of, uh, it's kind of awesome. Hi, I just got back from uh, hanging out with my mom and the um, home automation team was gone, so yes. They finished putting in the rack. So here it is. <laughs> Not that exciting at all, but it looks really cool. Yeah, all the components are sitting in there really nicely. And I had them give us one with some, I don't know if you can see, the reflection is, well, up here, actually, you can see that component. There's two spots here where we can put more components if we wanted to. So that's exciting. Our gym, well, still looks kind of messy, but it's a little bit better now. And I, um, it's not high enough, sorry. I placed an order at Cosbar and it just arrived. I got uh, an emailer from Cosbar uh, announcing a brand new lipstick that they were carrying and the lipstick was $200. Of course, curiosity got the better of me and I had to order it. So let's go ahead and unbox this together. All right. Let's see, let's see what this is all about. All right, so the brand is Valde, I think, Valde Beauty, V-A-L-D-E, Valde Amour Refillable Lip Set. And I think they only had maybe six different shades. I got the shade Curiosity. On the site, it looked to be the most like neutral. So here is what the packaging looks like. Got Valde on the side. It is vegan, gluten-free, nanoparticle-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, and ingredients on the back and all of that. So this slides out, and then we've got this nice sort of raised embossing. And then on the back, it says, we are inspired by the women of the past encouraged by the women of the present and motivated by the women of the future. So I think this probably opens up like a book. Yes, here we go. And this is a little, it's a little stiff. Can't open it up past that really. Some more verbiage. And then we have this sheet of vellum here. And then there, 
is the case and the refill. Okay. So when I posted pictures of this on my YouTube community tab, <laughs> I got the funniest uh, responses from you guys. I think someone called this a vulva. Someone else called this like reproductive organs. It's so funny, I didn't see it because all I saw were the wings, like these feathers and stuff, but I see vulva. I definitely see vulva there. And then here is the refill. And then here is the, is this a case? Yeah, this is a case. Nice big suede. Yeah, this is like a suede case. Suede-like, I don't think it's real. And this is a decent weight. It's not too heavy, you know? It's not like like a weapon, uh, but it's it feels solid. And there's a mirror on the top. And this just pulled out from the bottom there. So I'm guessing this is where the refill goes. And here is the refill. Here is the lipstick. So it must be a very soft, creamy kind of lipstick. Um, it has that look and like shape to it. It has that like that slanted bullet top there. So again, this is shade Curiosity. And it's a little bit more pink than I would have liked. I would have liked something like a little bit more beigey. But I do think that that is probably a nice everyday shade. And just by swatching it on my hand, it feels very comfortable. But let me go ahead and put this into that bottom part. And that just magnetized right in. I'm gonna roll this down. And then it magnetizes closed there. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and apply. I'm just gonna use the viewfinder <laughs> and apply. It feels nice. I will say I really enjoy the fact that it doesn't have any fragrance. There's no taste or anything like that to it. it um, it's very balmy. I feel like it's kind of like sitting on top of my lips, you know, like the way a lip balm would. Yeah, it really doesn't feel like a lipstick. It feels like a lip balm. Okay, this is what a $200 lipstick is. <laughs> I like I like the wings. I think that's uh I think it's pretty cool. And it's a little bit less fussy than the Bond number no. 9 because the Bond number no. 9 has, you know, it has the shape that it has like to its fragrance bottles like that kind of hourglass uh, shape and then um, it has like a chain with like the Bond number no. 9 token at the end and I mean, super cool. I will always love those lipsticks. Um, but because of the chain and that token, it's like sometimes a little like unwieldy <laughs> to carry around a Bond number no. nine lipstick. Um, this is a little bit uh, better, I guess, in that regard. I mean, they're both like completely over the top and insane. But I like that it has this mirror at the top. Oh, I guess I could have used that to apply. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, that's really cool. All right. So, Valde $200 lipstick. There it is in the case, little suede pouch. And I just got another delivery. I don't know who this is from though, let's see. Oh, awesome, okay. So <laughs> I placed an order uh, at Be Glowing. So they gave me another coupon code. It's MWANG, M-W-A-N-G 20 for 20% off their entire site. The only exclusion is Vintner's Daughter, which, if you have like a serum and an oil. Anyway, that's the only exclusion. Everything else, 20% off. So if you wanna get some like tools, like they have the Dr. Uh, Dennis Gross um, LED mask, that's an excellent, excellent um, use of the 20% off. I decided, and isn't it funny that I'm having such a like bizarre hair day, because I decided to get a bunch of Orbe stuff, just kind of stock up and try some stuff that I haven't tried out. So I got the Royal Blowout Heat Styling Spray. This I have like a small bottle of, and I really enjoy it. So I thought, let me just go ahead and take advantage of the 20% off. Ooh, that is what that looks like. So I got that. 
Um, this is actually new to me, the Orbe Soft Lacquer Heat Styling Spray. Try that. Um, the Structure Spray. So this is like um, a hairspray, but I think you can mold it as well. It says, Retro Setting Spray meets high-tech innovation. This light spray foam adds structure, density, shine, and all-day memory to iron sets and editorial looks. Our unique mist to mousse technology allows you to see where you've sprayed. So yeah, I just, that description, I was like, I, I gotta try this. It's like a hairspray turned to mousse. So anyway, I thought I would give that a shot. Um, and then I got uh, the Freestyler Working Hairspray. Oh, this is what I was thinking of, sorry, when I pulled this out. This is a hairspray that is like moldable. So this is the stylus tool of choice. This ultra fine, ultra dry mist can be layered, styled, and reworked to perfection. Spray over finished looks for light brushable hold with a touchable satin finish. So I thought that would be good because I'm either like using hairspray to like shellac my hair into place, like when I pull it back or something, or I don't use anything in my hair. And I felt like, wouldn't it be nice to have something just to kind of hold my hair into place, but not in a shellacked hard kind of way. So uh, that's what this sounded like. So excited for that. And then I also decided to get um, the Derm Institute Daily Defense Protection. This is SPF 50. Now that I'm wearing SPF every single day, I am going through it fairly quickly. And yeah, I just really like trying different ones. So that's the Derm Institute. I believe it's got really good reviews, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, this is the first Derm Institute product I'll be trying, but I'm really excited to try that. And then, you guys know, I've been kind of slowly falling in love with Revive, this brand. Um, they have this micro resurfacing treatment. It's like an exfoliator. So I thought I would try that. And then I had to try, whoa, I had to try the Augustinus Botter uh, cleansing balm. I don't even think I realized they had a cleansing balm, but you guys know I've been loving the Rich Cream. Um, I've been using their cleansing gel? Is it a cleansing gel? Yes, cleansing gel for the face. Um, that's really nice. And their body butter, which is really, or body cream, I think is what they call it, is really, really nice. So I wanted to try out this cleansing balm. And then let's see, they gave me some samples. I got PCA Skin Hydrating Toner, and then the Orbe Super Shine Moisturizing Cream, which I have used and is very nice. Um, and that is my order from Be Glowing. So definitely take advantage of that 20% off coupon for sure. I'll have it down below in my description box. Again, I'll flash the coupon code up here, but it's MWANG20 and it's good for this entire month of January. You'll get 20% off your order. You guys, 
guys, I did it. I took down my Christmas tree. <laughs> I can't believe how long I've put that off. And that literally took me like, I think no less than five, no more than five minutes. Um, yeah, I have to remember that for next year. It just doesn't take that long. Anyway, uh, I think what I wanna do today is try that Pat McGrath Bridgerton makeup. I ordered it when it first came out. I just got it super, super late. What's new? Um, I've talked about Pat McGrath shipping in the past. We'll just, we'll just leave it there. Um, but I was gonna do a whole dedicated video to it, but the pieces are sold out. You guys uh, can't get it at the moment, but I do wanna play around with it. And I do know that you can put your name on a wait list if you want. So I'll link that down below if you're interested in, in putting your name on the wait list for when they restock. So this was supposed to be a limited edition collection, blah, blah, blah. Well, they're bringing it back, I guess, just restocking it for now. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, shower, get myself together, and yeah, let's play with this new makeup. All right, ready to try out this Pat McGrath stuff. Um, so there's an eyeshadow palette, a blush palette, and a highlighter. So I'm gonna put down some foundation and all that other stuff first. Um, I'm gonna use the uh, number one day Chanel foundation. I really like this one for like an everyday, no makeup makeup kind of look. Um, I think I'm gonna do, I'm actually waiting for one foundation to arrive. I'm gonna do a video on that. And then after that, I think I'm gonna do a foundation roundup video because there have been so many new foundation releases, which I keep talking about. And I really just want to kind of summarize everything. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this Chanel. Okay, so let me powder. Next, I'm gonna powder with my Clay de Peau Loose Powder, this guy right here. Then I'm gonna take this Illuminating Bronzing Powder from Bobbi Brown in Aruba. I love this. And just warm up my face a little bit. Okay, so first up, we have the Love at First Blush, blush and highlighter palette. So this is the outer box packaging. I'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere already. Um, here is the cardboard packaging. And then we have a shout out to Bridgerton and then the shade names here. So I think these are all existing shades, right? Cherish, Nymphette, and Venus Nectar. Let me just make sure. So Cherish and Nymphette, those are the two blushes in here and those are definitely uh, existing blushes. Venus Nectar, I actually didn't find in the blushes or the, the highlighters that I have, sorry. Words are difficult today, but I wonder, let me go ahead and look up Pat McGrath, Venus Nectar and see if that pops up anywhere. Well, my battery ran out and it stopped recording and then I put in a new battery and I forgot to hit record. Anyway, all we've done is apply some of this Nymphette. I'm using my refer brush here and I have that brush all over my cheeks here. And what I wanted to do was apply this all over and then add this Cherish shade to the apples of my cheeks. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm just gonna take a little bit, this is a really bright, bright pink, and just tap over the apples of my cheeks here. Just to give me that Bridgerton newlywed <laughs> look. <laughs> All right, so those are the two blushes, and then I do wanna try this highlight, this Venus Nectar, and I've got my refer number four brush. This is my angled cheek brush. That is a deep kind of coppery rose gold shade. I think it's actually, for my liking, I think it's actually a little bit too deep for my skin tone. Like I can see it here. Maybe I just need to make sure I apply it just back here. Yeah, that is a little bit, that's a little bit deep for me. I think it's nice though. I think it's really pretty. I like the color of it, like the actual shade of it. That kind of 
peachy rosiness is so pretty. And I want to use the actual like single highlight that I got from the collection. This one is in the shade Incandescent Gold 002. I believe this is new. I didn't get the other one, which is um, like a really uh, yellow kind of gold. I thought that would just be too deep for my skin tone. Um, I actually saw some Pat McGrath Instagram you know how she has those like quick like reels that are tutorials and I saw her use that highlighter as actual eyeshadow and I thought oh maybe I should have gotten it for eyeshadow I don't need it for eyeshadow this is just a gigantic gigantic bit of eyeshadow if I had gotten it for that purpose so I'm glad I passed and I just got this one which I think will work for my skin tone uh, much more nicely and this is very very gold like a cool tone, almost like a white gold. And this is a baked gelée formula. Really gorgeous, look at that embossing. So pretty. And let me see, here is the one that came out for holidays. This one is much, much more peachy. So here's the holiday one, and then here is the Bridgerton one my light is catching it you can see how much peachier that is anyway let's go ahead and apply this Bridgerton one let me find a clean brush because it's so um, metallic I feel like there's a lot of micro glitters in there but like really really fine fine micro glitters can you see I mean it's so super smooth and metallic but then I think you can see like the little bits in there too. I'm not sure if that's my, if that's my favorite. I actually enjoy this finish a lot more. It's a lot more smooth and like kind of wet, almost greasy looking. <laughs> I like that more um, than this, which looks, yeah, like a little micro glittery. But this one is definitely light enough for my skin tone. Let me try a different brush. I'm gonna try a denser brush and see if I pick up more if it's less micro glittery. Wow. That is so shiny. So, so shiny. I mean, this is also very wet, kind of greasy looking, but there's like a top layer of it that is micro glittery. Like this is almost just like just the base and then this has like a micro glitter film on top. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. I think I do prefer the one in here. I'm going to actually buff out <laughs> this highlight because it's too much for me. Okay, I'm just gonna fill in my brows with my new Byredo eyebrow pencil that I'm really enjoying. Really, really enjoying. Okay, and now for the eyeshadow. This is, of course, what we're most excited for. Just gonna rip off this mirror sticker. Pretty, so of course, everyone's eye was drawn to this light blue shade up here, and they obviously kind of uh, created the packaging around this color, this one shade. Uh, what I don't think I realized, though, is this is like an astral shade, one of those baked shades. These two are baked shades as well. I don't think they're quite as uh, like multi chromy as that one. We'll have to swatch it. And then these three are pressed shadows. Oh, how exciting. So we've got three base shadows in here. You'll probably also notice that these are the smaller pans. So these are uh, like her large palette eyeshadow pan size or when she did the quads for holiday you know how those looked a little bit smaller than her previous quads it's that size so they're a little bit smaller but i love that there's three baked shades in here oh how cool okay let me swatch the um pressed shadows first oh these shades are gorgeous so those are the three pressed shadow shades Ooh, pretty. I could see myself wearing this all over the lid, one and done. And then here are the three baked shades. So those are the two B shades, and then there's that blitzy light blue shade. 
Oh, wow. So beautiful. Okay. I don't know how many of these shades I'm going to be able to squeeze onto my eyes today, but I'm definitely going to use the blue for sure. I'm going to use that as a topper shade. Um, I'm going to go in with, I guess I'll go in with this shade and I'm just going to start at the inner corners of my eyes. I'm going to grab my Isum W23 brush and go into this shade here. This is called Iconic Ingenue. Just going to start there. Of course, I want to use this shade, but I feel like I need to I need to get out of my comfort zone. So I'm going to go into this B shade up here. And those and those two shades are baked shades, but there's no color shifting or anything like that. This one I would say has like a metallic, a slight metallic kind of shift to it. Maybe this one too, but so slight. It just sort of makes them look like they're satin finish shades. Uh, so I'm gonna go into this light pink B shade and apply this to the center of my lid. Ooh, I like that pink shade. It's very creamy. Okay, now let me go into the deeper red shades, more of like a cranberry. These um, sable hair brushes from Eason, by the way, are perfect for these big shades. Just picks them up like a dream. Um, I'm gonna add this to the outer corner. Wow, okay. These shades are really vibrant, <laughs> really, really well pigmented. Holy smokes. Let me take a um, like fluffy blending brush here. I've got my uh, V34 brush from Isum, and just with no product on there, I'm just going to blend these out a little bit. Okay, this is it blended out. And this is it not blended out. Look how beautifully that like diffused. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with these shadows. I hope um, Pat McGrath comes out with more of these baked shadows that aren't quite as exciting <laughs> as her like blitz shadows. I think these baked shadows are really, really nice. Okay, I'm grabbing my um, T05 brush from Isum, going into this dark brown matte shade. I'm gonna use that to line my eyes. Okay, and now for this Blitz uh, shade, which is called Regency Blue. And I'm just going to use my finger here, pick up a little bit and pat that to the lid. Definitely getting some fallout. I think that's to be expected. <laughs> Unless I were to put some glue down, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, way out of my comfort zone, as you guys know. I love, 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 I love this color combo. I love these three shades, these three baked shades, and these two satin shades are gorgeous. This is great just to have in the palette, like the way I used it to line my eyes, but this is, I love this. I love this. I love the way the baked shades performed. Ooh, okay, Pat McGrath. I mean, I was a little not happy with her holiday collection. If you guys saw my uh, worst makeup of 2021, I mentioned her holiday quads. I did not, like those quads at all. I didn't think that they were worthy of the Pat McGrath name, but this is, you know, it pulls me out of my comfort zone. It's inspirational. It's fun. It's not way over the top. I think it's very true to Bridgerton. Really nice. Cool. Okay. Okay. So, uh, well, we used the eyeshadow palette, the blush palette, and the highlight, and that's all I got from the collection. I think there was only just one more highlight, right? That yellow gold one that was too deep for me. And that's it. 
So I'm just gonna throw on some lipstick. I've got my Clay de Peau Bamboo here. I think this will work. I could also probably use something pinky, but that's okay. I'm gonna leave the vibrant color to my eyes. Oh, that's super exciting. I really do like this eyeshadow look. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog right here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you in my next video.